the sister tap tap and let's play yes. oh. Scorgasm by Charlie's Games. This is an indie game made by Charlie Knight, and there's some uh, options here, but let's just go right into the starty uh, tutorial thingy. Cinder, King of Earth, subject, help. Earth is under attack. Aw, oh, not another one of these spam emails. Our enemies have created a network of bases in our system, coordinating a massive attack. Destroy the enemy bases and save the Earth. You are only hope, etc., and so on. Reward, crisp s no tea and some biscuits. Yes. That sounds worth it, even though I don't know what a crisp s no tea is. That will soon just fancy. How to? Yeah! We got spawn. This is us. We move around. It's a standard-ish dual stick shooter as far as the controls are concerned. You got some stuff. You got shoot. You got move. It's pretty much ideal to be using a controller, of course. You can use a keyboard, but then you only get eight directions. And there are many more than eight directions, as I've been told. Also, my computer is kind of crappy, so it doesn't play this game quite ideally. Charlie's games tend to have lots and lots of particles, and my computer does not like 4G particles that are sure to occur in this game. It plays fairly smoothly, considering. I mean, it looks pretty dang good. But yeah, you get combos, and after you get a certain combo, like 30 or 100, you get triple shots or homing missiles, and those are pretty important to not dying. And the little extra thing this game has is a close range attack, which wipes out bullets and enemies. And it's really strong. You have a limited use, but it recharges pretty dang quick. And it gives you crazy good bonus um, combo. It doubles the combo you get for everything you killed with it. So, pretty good way to get up your combo. Your combo is how you get multipliers, how you get points, and how you progress through the levels. You've got certain targets you have to meet in each level to unlock the harder levels at the end. So, like you see exit 1 okay, exit 2 okay, etc. over there. Actually, I don't think there was a target since this is the tutorial level. But on normal levels, you'll see how many, how what high of a combo you need to get to unlock the harder levels. And you gotta unlock the harder levels. It's just some kind of new biscuit. Nobody wants to be a new biscuit. That's just ridiculous. And if you beat the uh, target score and you still have the target combo at the end of the level, it, you get a frenzy mode, which basically just plays a little longer and you get tons of new enemies to kill. And that's also the only way to get a perfect, so that's pretty much just for getting high scores. And this game has online scores and all that crap. And I'm on there too. My profile is Sir Tap Tap. I haven't played it for very long at all, but uh, yeah, I've played three whole games. Oh yeah, but I've been playing this since the beta. Not very much, but still. Oh, and there's achievements. There's bestiary. A cool thing he did is that all of the enemies are named after people that donated, and I found a friend of mine actually donated too, and my name's in there as well. Though I haven't found my enemy yet. But I'll see eventually. And everyone that donated over a certain amount shows up in the credits too, so... That's pretty cool. And... I'm playing on the lowest graphic settings, just so you know. The game looks a lot better if your computer isn't really quite old and crappy, but... Oh well. And there's also challenge levels that you unlock by not being terrible. So I've unlocked a couple of those, and they're just... You know, special challenges for each individual level has a challenge, I believe. But I have unlocked those too much. This is more of a first impressions than a full Let's Play or anything. I haven't gone through all the branches and everything, but I thought I'd show this off. So I finally plugged in my controller and everything. And I do really like the little spawn indicators. You notice they actually get bigger. Oops. How did that happen? But uh, they get bigger as they, you know, to show they're going to spawn a bigger enemy. So you can tell when a boss is coming in or when it's just a ton of little nooblets and uh, 
This helps you avoid a problem I've noticed in several games like this where the enemies spawn in. Um, unlike lots of games, I don't find myself having enemies spawn on top of me, causing instant death. And if there's one thing I don't like in video games, it's enemies spawning on me, causing instant death. So, that's very nice. So as you notice, I didn't unlock the all three of the exits. But we're just going to be going through the hard levels mostly. I know I can beat the hard levels. The insane ones I haven't tried yet. Tanks! You'll notice all the arenas are a little different. And they pretty much all have completely different enemies. In fact, I think a lot of the enemies only show up in one or two levels. So there's a whole lot of variety. And there tends to be a little gimmick for every level. Like a unique enemy to that level, or a special stage um, setting, or lots of cool stuff. And you'll notice some of the levels, you know, are like similar to classic arcade games, or just do lots of cool stuff. Not this one in particular, but I guess this one specialty is tanks. Also, make sure you use your close range attacking. Especially with bullets, it's a great way to get your combo up. What I like to do is shoot in one direction and just use my close range attack for everything coming from the opposite direction so I get that combo up. And that gives you lots of points. Yeah, you are the cheese that was an amusing level. And as you unlock levels, you get to see their names and unlock challenges and crap in them. I wonder what the gimmick in this one will be. We are the cheese. Ah, mice. Mice. Oh, there's also these little power-ups, like the green one turns your shots green, and I don't know what it does. I think it increases your combo or something. But then there's a red one, which, uh, well, we'll see what they all do. Uh, a really good one is the, the yellow one, which is laser shots, which means your shots penetrate enemies, and they uh, they wipe out bullets, which is very nice for those levels where bullets try to murder your face. And there will be bullets trying to murder our faces. It's gonna happen. Right now, it's mostly mice trying to murder our faces. And lots of levels, the frenzy tends to get pretty crazy, like some sort of frenzy or something. So. Usually it's just a horde of normal enemies, though sometimes at the end, end of a level you'll get a boss or something nice like that. Curtains! Let's see if they match the drapes. I mean, wait, that's carpet. Never mind. Curtains. It's curtains for us. Things! Shoot them. These are laser shots. I'll note they kill stuff way faster. Oh right, this level. When you've got enemies that shoot bullets and they don't really move around, this can be a great opportunity to get up your combo by just using the close range attack on those bullets. Just don't go all dirt face and accidentally bump into shots or anything. Because you can farm some pretty crazy points and combos by exploiting the bullet shooting enemies. It's a lot like a bullet hell game in that lots of bullets on screen is a great way to get lots and lots of points. So you don't necessarily want to kill everything the instant it appears. You got priorities. Derp. I didn't even see what hit me. And you lose your combo completely if you die. Especially if you you lose like everything if you die. So I think he keeps on your score. Invaders! Oh yeah, I like this one. I think you'll notice the gimmick in this one. If you can't guess it already. We're like in an ant farm. Oh, the game also has nifty backgrounds and stuff that float around, but I had to disable those. I'll show you those quick after I get a game over. But my computer doesn't run the game very smoothly, so I thought I'd just disable those. But the backgrounds are pretty sweet. The graphics in general are really nice for a 
in an indie game, really. I wonder what this is a reference to. Oh no, is it slowing down a lot? I haven't played the game enough to say that it's broken, but I find... Ow. Uh, I have way more close range attack than I ever really need. So it seems fairly easy to just spam it. You do eventually run out, like I'll just show you. You just can't use it for a few seconds. There's this guy. So we finally see a boss. There are a few bosses in this. In fact, I think this is this is the same pattern as the uh, bullet candy boss. Final boss in that game. That's another. I think there's only one level 8 for some reason. At least I think this is level... No, is this level 6? Either that or I just never unlock the alternate exits. I'm not sure. I'm bad enough for, for either one to be the case. So what's the gimmick in this one? That! You can kill the fire ring thingy, but it's not really worth it to go out there. At least, I'm not sure why it would be. You could sit out in there and use the close range burst to knock away the flame, but uh, I personally don't risk it. Ah! The fire shooty dudes. Oh, and the red power up drops a death wave, which kills, like, freaking everything. The short range attack does go through walls a little bit. Also, despite what you might think, that alarm thing does not mean you're about to die. It just means you're about to run out of the, uh, the whatchamacallit, the close range attack thingy. Initially, I tried really hard to never run out, because I assumed it would just, like, kill me. But it doesn't. Let's see some stars going to Hollywood or something. Stars and lasers. Lasers. So this is one of the levels that has some inanimate object kind of things that you interact with. You shoot these thingies and then these thingies kind of open up and they shoot more thingies at you. Pretty much everything shoots things at you in this game. I mean, that's just going to happen. Steph's gonna shoot lasers at you, and you're gonna get some points. And on occasion, you'll die, but pretty sweet. Aside from all the things murdering your face, but ow. Things like that. Let's try to get to level 10, shall we, Tap Tap? There's what? There's like 43 stages, I think, is what I read. I haven't finished the game. No! We missed the target! First time that's happened to me. I mean, since I started playing the real game. Got my eye on you, son. Uh oh, we've got a spinny thingy in the middle. What are you gonna do? So when you see these batteries, you something generally happens if you shoot the batteries. So let's just waste the batteries. There are some kind of bosses type bosses slash environmental enemies that you can defeat by blowing up those batteries. Whee! And there's lots of levels that have like, you know, they're like multi-stages, so after you blow up the batteries, you end up in a different type of level. Like, now there are eyeballs everywhere instead of there being a big spinny thingy that shoots fire at you. Is this better than a big spinny? Spinny thingy that shoots fire at you? I don't know. And my cat is back. Bullets! Stupid eyeballs. I'm gonna kill all of you. That's what you get for being eyeballs. And you get one ups after every so many points. We got. We get metal! Metal get! Excellent! I think you get that for getting an S rank on every level, which we just did. Let's try an insane level, shall we, kids? Spinny blady thing! Oh, that looks fun. I want to touch that. 
Actually, I probably don't want to touch that. Oh, you can shoot it. It's spawning enemies! It's not spawning them very well, though. At least not with laser shots. Okay, I actually think that red thing in the middle there is like laserness, so I don't think we want to touch that at all. Pretty sure that will kill our face. If you touch it. If you couldn't tell, the insane levels tend to be fairly insane. The hard levels are a little harder. The normal ones you shouldn't have too much trouble with. But the game still has a, you know, a difficulty progression no matter which uh, path you choose. Unless you're some crazy person, you really probably should start on the wrong levels. Oh, right, you're supposed to get those hearts that come out when there's a frenzy. We got an S-Rank, yeah! 